This video is sponsored by UDSource.net. UDSource has a wide range of IC chips, passive electronic components, fiber optics, controller boards, sensors, protection modules, LEDs, electromechanical relays, accessories and tools. Start now by creating a new account and get a $5 shipping coupon. I have been using 16 into 2 LCD and different projects for displaying the date and time information in password protected to security system and so on. A regular 16 into 2 LCD module needs a lot of wires due to which maximum of the controller IO pins are wasted. The wiring can be reduced by replacing this regular 16 into 2 LCD with the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD. The I2C 16 into 2 LCD is in fact the same LCD but it comes with the I2C driver module soldered on the back side of this LCD. This type of the LCD can be interfaced with any controller board using only two wires. In this episode you will learn how to display text on the I2C 16 into 2 LCD using Arduino. In this episode, you will also learn how the same I2C 16 into 2 LCD can be interfaced with the Node MCU ESP8266 module, which is used in IoT based projects. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from the UDSource.net and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is just a normal 16 into 2 LCD which is converted into an I2C supported type LCD by using the PCF8574 I2C driver module. The four male headers are clearly labeled as ground VCC. SDA and SCL. A 10K variable resistor which is used for the adjustment of the LCD contrast. As you can see the driver module is also provided with A0, A1 and A2 links which can be used to set the I2C addresses. As you can see no links are fitted. The 7 bit address is 0x27 which you have to confirm in the data sheet. Maybe your LCD have a different I2C address. The links control the least significant 3 bits. Fitting the link sets the bit low. As you can see the circuit diagram is really simple. All the 16 pins of the PCF8574 driver module are connected with the LCD pins. Using these connections you can convert any 16 into 2 LCD into an I2C supported LCD. The VCC pin is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The SDA pin is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A4. The SCL pin is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A5 while the ground pin is connected with the Arduino's ground. Using only two pins A4 and A5 we can control 16 into 2 LCD. The four pins of the I2C LCD driver module are connected as per the circuit diagram. The VCC and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground, while the STA and SCL pins are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A4 and A5. Now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download the wire and liquid crystal underscore I2C libraries from our website electroniclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. This is the I2C address. If your LCD doesn't work, change this address which you can find in the data sheet. The values 16 and 2 means that I'm using a 16 into 2 LCD. If you're using a 16 into 4 LCD, then simply replace 2 with 4 and similarly for the other same series LCDs. In the white setup function we simply initialize the LCD, activate the LCD backlight 
and finally we set the cursor at the top left corner of the 16 into 2 LCD. You can also use the LCD.set cursor function. Even if you don't use this function, it's okay. The default location is already the first row and first column. Then starts the while loop function. The LCD.clear function is used to clear the LCD. The LCD.print function is used for writing anything on the LCD. Then there is a delay of one second. As you know, the LCD I'm using is a 16 into 2 LCD, which means it has 16 columns and 2 rows. Using the LCD.set cursor function, you can select any of the two rows and any column. 0 and 1 means first column of the second row. The purpose of this for loop is to print numbers from 0 to 5 with a delay of 500 milliseconds which is equal to a half second. The columns are automatically incremented. Again I cleared the LCD, selected the first column and first row, printed electronic clinic and then the same for loop but this time I have used the LCD.set cursor function which keeps the cursor at first column and second row. To turn off the display, you can use the LCD dot no display function and to turn on the display, you can use the LCD dot display function. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this in action. Now I'm going to explain how you can interface the same I2C LCD with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module which is quite popular for making IoT based projects. The 16 into 2 LCD connection with the PCF8574 I2C driver remained the same. This time the SCL and STA pins of the I2C LCD converter are connected with the Node MCU digital pins D3 and D4. A regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator is used to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and 16 into 2 I2C supported LCD. Now let's have a look at the Node MCU programming. This is exactly the same program with a little modification. This time in the white setup function I use the wire.begin function. 2 and 0 are the GPIO2 and GPIO0 pins on the NodeMCU module which are actually the D4 and D3 pins. You can check this information in the NodeMCU pinout. You can download this image from my website. The rest of the program is exactly the same which I have already explained. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.